Hi everybody, Brian here, magvortex.org. Hey, I just wanted to take a couple minutes and go over the primary math that dictates the output of unipolar and homopolar generators. So we have on my desktop here, uh, my model, this is a unipolar generator as it is just a one piece magnet rotating the presence of its own field. The other side is a copper disc that moves in front of the magnet, that would be a homopolar arrangement with the fixed field source and the rotating disc. So what is the voltage in these systems? Well, let's take a quick look. Um, primarily, of course, we're working with V equals IR, and we're working with the power equal to the voltage times the current. Uh, let's start here with V equals IR. Okay, R is resistance, I is the current, V is the voltage. Okay, so the resistance of these machines is typically extremely low. Uh, very small resistance. Um, you could see here, this is a giant block of metal. Uh, you put a brush that can pick up the current all the way around it on the outside and the opposite pole in the center. Uh, and if these brushes uh, have low enough resistance, then you can tap the potential current of that giant block of metal spinning in that magnetic field. Okay, so the resistance is important to be very, very low to get any uh, real power out of the system. Uh, so with a very low re resistance, uh, a very high current potentially, um, but the voltage, what is the voltage? Well, the voltage is dictated by this function here. Uh, the voltage is going to be looked at, okay, let's take a look at it. We have a pickup here at a low radius. We have a pickup out here at a high radius. Um, <clears throat> so the voltage is a function of the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. And all of that times the magnetic field strength and the RPM. And that's all divided by or multiplied by some constant depending on what units you decide to use. This constant is going to change, but uh, it will stay the same <clears throat> if you stick with those units. However, uh, so let's look at this again. Outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. Uh, this is a function, obviously, of the radius squared. So as the disk, if the, di the disk was to double in radius and diameter, uh, you would also multiply the voltage by a factor of four. Okay, if you triple the radius, you're going to multiply the voltage at a given speed, at a given uh, field strength, you're going to multiply that voltage by a factor of 9 if you triple the radius. So the, so the radius is very important in dictating the voltage. Uh, voltage goes up with the square of the radius, but linearly with respect to the field strength and linearly with respect to the RPM. So you double the field strength, you double the voltage, you double the RPM, you double the voltage. Okay, this is critical, the RPM and the radius for calculating your voltage. 